how to create a design like this in Affinity Designer. Go to the Tools panel in Affinity Designer and select the Ellipse tool. Hold down the Shift and you create a circle. You can set it to any colour. I'm going with blue. With the ellipse selected, go down here to the bottom of the Layers panel. You can find that in the View menu, Studio and Layers and click here, Mask Layer and you will get a mask. That's a raster layer and you can apply brushes, etc. to that design. Go to the top left and select the Pixel Persona. It's the second option. Click there. As soon as you've done that, you will notice now you're in Pixel Persona and you've got brushes, color, layers. You can find them all in the View menu, Studio, etc. Select the mask in the Layers panel then go over here to the paintbrush tool. You can find that in the tools panel. Set the width to about 20. Also modify the symmetry setting. You can see that here, symmetry. Put that on and also change it to about, I would say, eight. Now you'll notice here, you've got this little center point. I want the center point to be in the center of that circle. So just select that and you can see you get cursor change there and position it about there. You can also lock it, so you can just go over here and lock. Also, you might prefer the mirror to be on, so select that as well. Now, I'm going to go with an ink brush, so I'm just going to select one of these. Could be any of the brushes, and that one. Now, as soon as you do that, of course, it's changed going over here, so set it to 20. And I'm going to use a pen, art pad and pen. You've got the range of colours now from grey all the way from black to white and just apply. So with black you can apply here and as you do that you can see you get transparency, you can see through this design using the mask. And of course you can vary the brush, you don't have to go with ink, you could go with any of the other brushes as well. And you can apply it very nicely and fine or maybe make very thick designs like that. And you can just create all kinds of beautiful symmetric designs very quickly. You can also, of course, vary the color again, if you wish. Maybe go with slight gray there and you can just apply that. And that's all been applied to the mask. You can see that down here, just there. Once you're happy with your design, go up here again to the personas and select the first one, the designer persona and you're back into the usual designer space now. And again, you've got the mask selected there, but you can select the ellipse now. With the ellipse selected, you can of course go over here and change the fill color. You can also change it via the swatches panel. Go to the swatches panel and select orange or red or pink. You can run through all the colors. You can also go over here to the move tool and you can change the stroke. You can change the stroke width. So click there and maybe make that say 10 or 11. You can also, if you wish, it's still live. So it's still live. You can still modify it as a vector design. You can convert it to a donut. You can also click convert to curves as well. With the ellipse selected, you can go down here to the effects, that little FX, click there. And now just go down here, highlight the 3D, click, and now you can see you've got a lovely 3D effect. You can modify the radius, maybe make it about two or three. You can also, if you wish, go for outer shadow. Again, make certain it's highlighted. That enables all the various controls and also it's set on. And click close. And there's the end design. You've got a lovely symmetrical design. You can, of course, always at any time, simply edit this mask again if you're not happy with that symmetrical design, just go and edit it. Change the colors, black to white, and apply brush strokes again. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you very much.